guys, welcome back to Passing Money Plan. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about if married couples should share bank accounts. Kirby seems to laugh at me every time we talk about this one. So, <laughs> so Kirby, what do you what do you think? And why do you? All right. What is funny about this topic? <laughs> All right. So, I mean, it's funny. It's funny. The reason why it's funny to me is because me and Alex, we have different diagrams or different illusions about what all right, that was some other madness going on. But we have different illusions of madness about this uh thing called bank accounts, separate bank accounts, or or you know, combining funds. You know, Alex is Alex is 100 percent we putting everything together. Everything, everything combined. If you buy a Tootsie Roll, I need to know about it. <laughs> and then for me, it's it's a little, it's a little different. It's a little, just a little different. Mm-hmm. Me, me. Only thing I want, I care about. Only thing I care about is the family needs. The family needs is, you know, lights, gas, phone, water, yada yada yada. You know, you know the basic necessities in your house. Basic necessities. Let's say that again. Because everybody thinks necessities is your Netflix account, your uh, PayPal account, your Disney Plus account. No. I mean necessities. Lights, gas, phone, water, and that's it. I mean, you know, it might be some other things in there. Insurance, car insurance, car payment. Should that be combined? Should the funds for those for those items be combined, yes. So in my house, I will speak about my house. I'm not gonna speak about Alex's house. Alex will speak on his own. It's gonna be crazy, y'all. But it's gonna be Alex gonna speak on his own. But I believe that all the family necessities should be paid out of a joint account. That I mean, if your wife works or if your spouse works or whatever, no matter what side it is, then that's a joint account. They put their money in there. You put your money in there. And that's where the the bills, the necessities get paid. But when I say that they should have separate accounts, meaning that one spouse should have her checking account, their own checking account, and the other spouse should have their own checking account, it's not just, oh, hey, hide money and then put money into those separate checking accounts. What I'm saying is that they need to together combine husband, wife, spouse, spouse, whatever, you know, this day and age, whatever spouses mean. They need to agree on how much risk free money should be spent. I mean, for me, when I was going through it, and first off, before people be like, oh, well, well, we're trying to get our debt. Why do we need, you know, why do we need risk-free money? We need to put all the money towards debt. The thing is, everybody needs their time to decompress. Alex, you need your time to decompress, no matter if it's cigars, you, you don't drink, you don't drink enough. I, I got a drink to make to make up your space. But um, no matter if it's, you know, whatever, whatever your vice is, you know, no matter what it is, you need that little bit of, you know. Risk free money to just do that bite. I mean, because if you live in, you know, 10, 15 years of, hey, we scrounging, 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 that's great. But you also need money to go wherever. So, like in my house and where we started at when we was getting out of debt, the number was $50. Oh, I don't care about saying it. The number was $50. $50, my wife got to spend risk free and I got to spend risk free. And I'm be honest. My $50 was gone in the first five minutes that it was in my account. I'm not going to lie. That's what it was. It was gone. It was either, you know, drinking or whatever. But, you know, over time, after we, you know, compressed the debt, got rid of the debt, then that number grew higher, grew higher, grew higher, grew higher, grew higher. Now we fast forward years later, and it's a bigger number than what it ever was when we started. I mean... I mean, it's it's so big now that most of the time we never get to the end of the month with it. But the key of it all is we got to have, we focus on the middle ground, focus on the, 
you know, the necessities, focus on paying off the debt first, but then the, you know, risk-free money that goes into each separate checking account is uh, just something so they can do whatever they want. Like me, I'm be honest. When I go look at look at the accounts in a joint checking account, I don't want to see nails getting done, hair getting done, you know, all this other, you know, wild stuff. I just I just don't care about it. So go pay for it in your own checking account and just don't even worry. I don't even I don't even care. But if you don't have that that trust that um that and I yeah, I'll just say trust. If you don't have that trust to say, hey, yeah, you know, this is your money, this is your money, and it shouldn't be something you're worried about. I just don't have that time to be looking at that, just like on the inverse side for me. My wife don't need to sit there and look at me saying, oh, you spent $100 at the at the bar drinking or whatever. You know, you spent $100 at the casino or $500 at the casino or whatever that is. That's risk-free money where everybody gets to do whatever they want to. So I, this is me. I believe that, every, that the spouses should have a separate checking account and it's agreed upon amount that should go in those checking accounts every month quarter, uh, every two weeks. No, depending on how much you get paid. But everything else should be combined into the same checking account and focus on the objective of the family. Alex, what you got? Nobody's safe in this household. <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> no, so... Alex ain't giving them nothing. <laughs> so I will be honest. Um, I mean, my wife has... We, like, just started doing that. And honestly, we I kind of got the idea from you um being able to do that because we used to contribute a lot a lot to retirement accounts and so now that we're actually mm -hmm. focusing on real estate um we are just equally investing you know the same amount our income has gone up and it goes up every year it actually now i mean now it's going up every month just about but we we do the same. I mean, our risk free money, as you call it, um, isn't anywhere near yours. But my wife has more than I do. I just I'm afraid to spend risk free money. I'm just like, no, nah, that's more money to the next property. So I'm like putting it away. And the reality is, I mean, I could spend a lot more, but I just I know what my goals are now, and I feel like I'm the one responsible to be in control of reaching those goals for the family while letting my wife have her decompressing time and whatever because my wife she's just full on supportive how much do you need to invest here you go and then I'll tell her all right you know she she knows how much she can spend per month now or per paycheck or whatever but in the beginning i mean we didn't even have like when you said you had like $50 like risk free money like we were like zero dollars it's like there is no liberty <laughs> so, i mean so in the beginning i would say for like two three years it was just like i mean we would go out maybe every once in a while but it was like we were just so dedicated to like what we were doing and now i would say we've built a more comfortable lifestyle than we were four or five years ago but now i mean our direction has just shifted, you know, instead of those payments being automatically withdrawn from our accounts to a retirement account. Now we're actually pulling the money in and focusing on a different investment, as I said, and, you know, in real estate. So we're actually receiving it more. So from there, we kind of redid our strategy on, OK, how much should we actually do this, you know, spend money or whatever. And so we went from that to that path. And so now we we have some risk-free money now but the way we do the bank accounts though is like we have separate bank accounts but as soon as we receive money we talk about it and we talk about what direction we want that money to go in, whether it be investing um if she wants to go somewhere if there's a trip or whatever and we just do it from there but the first thing that we actually do is invest money first that's the first payment we make is investing and it, it, it is when the thing goes was when i first started off 
I was, I, well, I ain't going to say I was. Me, I was a spender in my relationship, and my wife was a saver. My wife was all about, oh, no, everything needs to go towards what we need to do. But the thing is, I saw that I wanted to do things that, I and it was not nothing nefarious. I just, you know, hey, I want to go hang out with the guys. But I don't have no money to hang out with the guys because all the money is going here. And then, so it just makes a miserable lifestyle. It made a, a miserable lifestyle for us at the beginning when we first started doing it that way. And then we just said, hey, here, all right, here's, you know, $50, here's $50. And like I said, I was, you know, I'm $50 in. I mean, I get $50 as soon as I get my paycheck, I'm just gone. So now I got to bougie up to my wife so I can get her $50 too. So so we can go out to dinner because I, I was, you know, I was, you know, still the spender, but those different things, it just give that, that little bit of freedom just to be like, Hey, you know, I, I've reached that pinnacle of being a quote unquote, an adult, you know, and that's, that's all it was for me. And, and it, it made people feel more like, okay, well, I'm not in the prison of, oh, I, I'm sitting here working, working, work, working, and I can't do nothing. So I just, you know, Okay, let's just, you know, set a, you know, a precipice, set, you know, a amount of money that, hey, you can go spend risk free. I mean, me, still to this day, my risk free money, I go blow it fast and then I'm still bougieing up to my wife, like, hey, uh, let's go, let's go to dinner. <laughs> I need her to pay for it because I ain't got no money. But that's just, that's, that's how it is. And, and if you, you give that little gap, I'm not saying it has to be big. It don't have to be big. Like I said, we started off with $50 a piece. So that's $100 a month, $100 a month. It wasn't no $100 a week, $100 a month. Is the number uh, ex extremely higher now because we don't have any consumer debt and all that? Yes. But the results still the results. Me, I'm still spending my money just like I was when it was at $50. I'm still spending my money. I'm still spending my money. And then... I got a bougie up to my wife to get a little piece of her money. I think she found out about it because she she's being a little stingy. But anyway, but uh, but that's that's just how it is. But the end goal, but it is not. Oh well, I spent my money. She won't give me no money. Well, let's go into the joint bank account and take money. No, it just all right. She won't give me none of hers. Okay, but I mean, I still got the magic touch. I still got the magic. I still got the magic touch, so I so I still could slide a meal in there or something like that. But it's besides that, it's that's it. I mean, we're we're one hundred percent focused on what we need to do. And like you said, our number fifty fifty dollars a month when we started to now, it's insanely higher. But the results don't change. I am who I am. I mean, I'm gonna spend it if you give it to me. Um, but it still, you know, it gives us that freedom just to be like, okay. We can go be an adult. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it was tough, it was hard, especially with the fifty dollars a month. I'm like, good God. And this is years ago, but fifty dollars a month was like, man, I couldn't even I can't even go to the corner store and be out of fifty bucks. But now I mean now the number is higher and I just find more stuff. That's why I'm not I'm not a big proponent on oh yeah, give, you know hundreds of thousands on risk-free money. Like, if I got risk-free money, I'll, I'd rather give it to my wife because I know she's not going to spend it than leave it in my account because I'll do everything else with it. But that's just how I that's how I look at it. With all that being said, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like button, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.